fun and I'm so excited about this video today. I'm finally getting around to doing an official review of this hair that I have been wearing for a few weeks now. You guys saw this hair first in my Miami vlog video and I've been promising that I was going to do an official review and give you guys the lowdown on this hair, so I'm finally doing it. So in today's video, I want to just introduce this hair to you guys, tell you a little bit about it, tell you where you can get it. I want to give you some of the do's and don'ts with this hair, kind of like some preliminary warnings about the hair, just so that you know what you're getting into. Um, and then I want to show you guys a quick demonstration of how I actually style this hair because it's really, really easy. So before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that this hair is from a company called HerGivenHair.com. It's an online store where you can purchase all different types of textures of natural extensions. Today I'm wearing two bundles of the 22 inch curly. The hair has been cut in colored, so this is not how it comes naturally. I did make some alterations to the hair and I'll explain what I did. So I have hair out right in the top here and then along the perimeter and then the rest of it is just all braided. So my stylist braided it like in a circle and then she just attached the extension hair to it with um, thread. So I got my hair installed and done professionally. I only go to one stylist in Chicago uh, for the past probably two years now. Her name is Shawana Thompson. She's a stylist out of the beautiful salon in Chicago located on 35th and King Drive. I will put her info below as well as the beautiful salon info. This is the stylist that I go to for all of my hairstyles. She did my hair for my wedding. She's done my hair for a few different special occasions, my engagement party. I go for her for straight styling, but also natural styling. And I do believe that she is a stylist that focuses on hair care. So when you're in her chair, you're going to learn how to maintain the style that she's giving you. She's gonna give you tips. She's gonna diagnose your hair, tell you what's wrong with it. Just a wonderful stylist, definitely worth the money. And I always recommend her to people who ask me who should they go to in Chicago to get their hair done. There are a lot of really, really talented stylists at Beautiful Salon. It's one of my favorite salons ever. Um, but if I had to recommend one stylist, it would be Shawana because she is so good. So the color that we used on the hair is by Cream of Nature. It's the color that I've used for the past two years. It is their um, Argan Oil from Morocco hair color line in the color Bronze Copper. We used two boxes on the extensions and then we used two boxes on touching up my natural hair so that it could all blend together. And I think the cool thing about this hair is that it colors really well and red hair colors normally fade over time. No matter what you really do to them, they're gonna fade at least a little bit. And my natural hair and the extension hair is actually fading at the same rate. So it looks super natural and I absolutely love the way that it's been kind of blending. And I want you guys to stay tuned and look at this demonstration so that I can show you how the hair blends and you can see for yourself. And you can also see how I normally style the hair on a regular basis. So stay tuned for the demonstration and then come back and I'll explain a little more. The first thing I do with styling this hair is to make sure that it's damp. I usually wet it in the shower, pin it up, let it sit for a couple minutes, and then it's damp and ready to receive products and to be styled. I like to start by finger combing, just kind of separating the curls, aligning everything. As you guys can see here, the hair is very similar to my natural texture, so the blending is going to be pretty easy. Lately I've been loving the Hairdo Leave-In Conditioner by Oyen Handmade, but I use a lot of different leave-in conditioners with this hair. I like to apply the leave-in on my natural hair as well as the extension hair. I just don't go too close to the roots because I don't want to have product build up. Next I detangle the hair the same way I would my natural hair, starting from the bottom and working my way up, very gently detangling the hair, especially where my natural hair meets the extension hair because I don't want to have breakage. Through the detangling process you'll notice that the curls kind of clump together and become more defined, just like natural curls. Once the hair is all detangled, it's time to add the gel or a styling product. I love using gel because it helps the hair to become defined and kind of clumps the curls together. So I apply it to the surface of the hair, quite a lot of it, and I drag it down towards the ends. I don't typically apply the gel to the ends of the hair, I just allow some of the excess to kind of be pulled through the hair. Next I take my bristle brush and smooth all the hairs down. This helps me get a smooth finish. It also helps me to blend my natural hair in with the extensions. Sometimes I pull my ponytail directly to the back and other times I pull it over to the side because it's so cute that way. So just using a hair tie, I'll just secure the ponytail off to the side and that's it. 
The hair usually air dries pretty good after a while, but as you can see, the curls are really clumping together like natural curls do, and even the ends look really natural because they're not even. Usually this hair is completely dry in an hour or two. So let's talk a little bit more about the products that I use. The first one that I use, and I've used quite a bit of it, is this Thirsty Curls Leave-In Conditioner by Curly Bell. I love using this product because it's made with natural ingredients, it smells really good, and it absolutely works. I like using leave-in conditioners that detangle the hair a bit, add a little shine, a little moisture, and this one does the trick. I also like using um, a leave-in conditioner that has a little bit of slip to it. This one is by Shea Moisture. It is the Low Porosity Protein Leave-In Conditioner. This one works really well because it's actually more like a styling agent, so it does make the hair shiny, it does give it some definition, and it helps to detangle, which is really important with this hair because it does get tangled because it is curly hair and it also moisturizes. You want to take care of this hair the same way you would your natural hair. So you want to keep it moisturized as well, keep the health of the hair looking good because if it starts to be scraggly and getting really dry and it's not moisturized, it'll really be obvious with this kind of hair. And then lastly, one of the newer products that I've been using to moisturize this hair before styling is this Oyen Handmade Honeydew. This stuff is awesome. I love the ingredients. I love the way it smells. And I love the way it actually behaves on the hair. It focuses on quenching dry hair. And it does absolutely that. I like to use it liberally throughout the hair and also on my natural hair. And it works so well. And next, a product that I cannot live without with this particular hair is a styling gel. Now, I normally am an Eco Styler gel user. That's what I always use. But since with this hair, I'm using so much gel to blend and to um, make my curls pop, I like to use a gel that comes in a large quantity like this one. I like the squeeze bottle for easy access. So I would recommend like one of these um, styling gels with the sport hold. When I first started using this gel, it was up here somewhere. Now it's all the way down here. And I've had it here for a few weeks, but still I've been using a lot of it. When it came time for me to wash and condition the hair, I definitely wanted to preserve the color and the vibrancy of the color. So I use two products that are designed for that purpose. And these are by Shea Moisture Professional. I've shown you guys these before in a previous tutorial. This one is the Vibrant Color conditioner and this is the vibrant color shampoo so I use these together when I wash the hair I like to focus on the roots and I like to scrub in between the braids and everything to make sure that my scalp is getting clean and then I kind of let my fingers run through the remaining part of the hair and just kind of let the shampoo rinse itself out when I use the conditioner I only used it on the ends of the hair I didn't even put it anywhere near my scalp because when it comes to having uh, a sew-in and you've got the braids underneath you don't want to use something that's going to focus on leaving deposits in your hair you only want to rinse out and cleanse so I didn't put anything on my scalp I left that completely clean when I rinsed out the shampoo I only used the conditioner for the ends of the hair I only had to co-wash this hair a couple of times since I've had it um, just like in the shower letting the conditioner kind of rinse through it I avoiding the scalp like I mentioned because I don't want to have a lot of buildup on my scalp it's hard to get to the scalp when you've got braids with the sew-in so I don't want to make it more difficult by adding stuff to it so I just put the, the you know the co-wash on the ends of the hair I would say if you go with this curly texture of hair from hergivenhair.com be prepared to style the hair while wet very often because it works better when it's wet. The curls will pop, you'll have more definition, and you'll have more success blending your hair. If you go with one of the kinkier textures, I don't think you really need to do that. But with the curly one, I feel like every day I needed to make sure the hair was at least a little bit wet in order to manage it and deal with it. I didn't do any twist outs or braid outs with this hair. I pretty much just wore it in its natural curly state the entire time I've had it. I think it's important if you do get the curly texture that your hair is similar to the texture. You're just going to have a nightmare if it's not, and you're going to be really having a hard time with blending. I would say if your hair is like my hair texture, um, I've never typed my hair, so I can't tell you guys what hair type I have, but just from looking at some of my previous videos, just know that if your hair is similar to my hair, it will work perfectly with this hair. I did not have to go through a lot of trouble blending at all. Simply add some water and some gel, and the hair just sort of blends in with it. The perfect mixture. Now, each day as I was detangling my hair, I used my... Uh, Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. This is my absolute favorite detangling tool at the moment. It's so, so awesome. Works perfectly, makes my job a lot easier. I can detangle my hair a lot faster. Awesome, awesome. Also a good detangler to use is a wide tooth comb like this one. I got this one from Cream of Nature. They sent it to me a while ago as a gift. Um, but any wide tooth comb will do the trick. Last but not least, the tools that I use for this hair are just these bristle brushes. These have been a lifesaver in my styling process because it helps me to blend my hair with the extension hair and also helps to smooth it down. So when you guys saw me in the video doing the ponytail, I wear my hair like that a lot for work 
and just for on the go styling because it's just easier I use these brushes these are soft bristle brushes that you can get from your local beauty supply or even your local drugstore so today's hair is was very simply styled pretty much just like you saw in the demonstration I actually put the hair in a ponytail and everything and then maybe three hours later once the hair was dry I was able to take the ponytail holder out and then just fluff the hair a little bit at the roots and then I got this style so it was very very simple I like to use that method because it allows my hair to stretch while it dries because if I was to just put gel and water on my hair and just leave it it would shrink so much and this hair does not shrink that much so it would have looked very very different so by having it in a ponytail pulling the hair taut and forcing it to dry in an elongated position allowed the blending to happen a lot better so that's what I would say is the difference between my hair and this hair the texture is absolutely the same the way that it feels everything is identical except for my hair's ability to shrink versus this extension hair's ability to shrink this extension hair is not going to shrink at all but your natural hair will so keep that in mind so it's very very simple not a whole lot of products needed not a whole lot of time and effort this hair has really been a low maintenance hairstyle for me so when I go to bed at night with this hair I usually just put it up in a bun and just go to sleep simple as that if you want to try to do a twist out or a braid out I think that would work perfectly fine as well just make sure that you do wrap the hair up in a way that you would with your natural hair so just treat this hair the same way you would with your naturally grown hair you want to keep the hair moisturized you want to keep it protected at night all of the same rules apply going to bed every night I did want the hair to be in a bun because if you don't you leave it all out and crazy you're gonna to have to deal with that in the morning just like you would your natural hair so just keep that in mind you guys saw a little sample of the shedding in my demonstration the hair does shed on a regular basis just like natural hair so when you're detangling the hair just keep it in mind the shedding amount that you saw in the demonstration is actually the amount that I would get probably on a daily basis so if you just kind of add all that up it can kind of be a lot of hair in the end so as I'm looking at this hair I don't see much difference from when I first got it installed until now so the shedding is moderate but it doesn't really affect the fullness of the hair in the end I would definitely not list the shedding as one of the cons with this hair I do have some cons to share but I don't think the shedding is going to be one of them what I love most about this hair is my ability to blend my natural hair into it in the past I've always avoided wearing any sort of extensions because of that reason I hated trying to blend the hair with this hair I did not have to do much at all to blend it it blends so well with my natural hair and I was able to become adjusted to the hair a lot quicker because it was so similar to my natural hair so I love that about this hair I really love the way this hair behaves it is so natural looking I have fooled unintentionally so many people with this hair who really think that this is my natural hair growing out of my scalp like I've had hairstylists um, be fooled by the hair and, and it, it's so funny to me because I'm not trying to hide it or anything but it's just funny how it looks so natural that so many people think it's my real hair the hair really is beautiful it's really versatile it gives you a different look it allows you some convenience with your hair as a protective style I have not had to fool around with my hair a whole lot um, over the past few weeks which has been a really big help for me and every now and then you want to switch it up you know do something different make your hair more exciting try a different length even if I didn't want to wear the hair this long I could have worn it really 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 short I could have cut it into a really short style which is a great way to try out a new look without making any permanent changes to your natural hair so what I would do differently with this hair I think I would probably go shorter with it I probably wouldn't do a full 22 inches I went ahead and ordered the 22 inches because I figured you know if I want to go shorter I can always cut it shorter that sort of thing I would say go shorter because the longer the hair the more you will pay so if you're not sure if you want it to be long get the shorter hair for sure because that's what I do wish I had gotten the shorter hair because shorter hair makes for a more full look when it's longer it has a tendency to lay flatter and um, that can be problematic with blending and it could also um, just depending on your face shape you might not like that look so much I like more of a rounded um, hairstyle I like my hair to fall a little bit more rounded so I would have gone a little bit shorter that's the only thing I would have done differently though the other negative about this hair I would say is that it does get more prone to tangling at the longer you have it so when I first got the hair it almost never got tangled I mean it was really easy in the beginning to detangle and, and, and maintain the detangled hair but I've had it now for a few weeks and so it seems like it, it gets more tangled easily so like the other night when I went to sleep I forgot to like wrap the hair up and I just kind of slept with it out and then I had to it took me like 20 minutes to detangle the whole thing because it was almost matted in some areas so it was pretty bad but once I got it detangled and I've used my product and I used a little bit of water 
the hair was back to normal. It looked perfectly fine, but I just noticed that it got tangled a lot easier. So I think the longer you have it, it gets a little old, it'll start to get a little bit drier, it starts to lose some of its luster, and I think that happens just naturally over time with the hair. So that's all I have for you guys today for my review. I hope this was helpful. I'm gonna put all the links in the description box for the hair and any sales that are going on, any deals, any discount codes, I'll put everything below. So make sure that you guys do check it out. And I would have to say overall, I've had an awesome experience with this hair. I have to give it a 10 out of 10, and I don't even like weave, okay? But I love, love, love this hair. I got my sister to order some. I told her like, girl, you're gonna love it. So she's in the process of ordering her some and having it installed, my big sis K. And I'll probably keep this hair and use it again. Like, I don't even wanna take it out, but I know that I have to um, at some point in time. But I think it's fabulous, fantastic hair. And I think you guys will love it. Just a reminder to you guys, this is not a sponsored video. I was not paid to talk about this hair. I was given it for free, which I do appreciate. So thank you so much to the folks at HerGivenHair.com. But I was not sponsored to do this video. I wanted to share this with you guys because I love the hair so much and I think it's a good buy and it will be worth the money and you will be satisfied with it. So that's all I have. Those are my tips. Um, let me know what you guys think about the hair if you do order it or if you've worn it before. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video.